Okay, do you want to do your intro first or do you want to do mine? You do yours and then I'll copy you a little bit. Okay. Alright. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very exciting video because I'm joined with Jasmine Rollison. She has just created a YouTube channel which is super exciting. So I will put her link in the description and you should definitely go and subscribe to her. Um, I'll also be putting our Instagrams in the description too so you can go and see what we do when the camera isn't turned on. Today we are doing a Q&A. She's asked her Instagram followers for some questions to answer. The reason I haven't asked mine is because I'm doing a personal Q&A that I decided to do before we decided to do this video. So I don't want to hassle my followers for more questions. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, just to show me that you enjoy this video with Jasmine um, and make sure to comment down below what other videos you'd like to see us do. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can see when I post and what I post and be sure to go check out my other vlogs that I have. Yeah, let's get into the video. So, we've got some questions on Jasmine's phone that she's screenshotted that we are going to read and answer for you guys. Okay, there was a few interesting questions that we're not going to read out. Anyway, um, goals for 2019. At the moment, I'm doing Learn to Swim teaching, so I just want to put my everything into that and further look into a business that I'm starting to do with Learn to Swim teaching as well. I really want to like build up my Instagram, so that's kind of like a platform that will support my Learn to Swim teaching. And also, I'm looking into doing modelling, but I'm not too sure. I'm just giving it a go. So my goals for 2019 are definitely focusing more on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to university this year so I've got more time to focus on that than last year because I was in school, year 12. So yeah, just getting a job and focusing on YouTube. Dream holiday destination. I love France but I've been to France so. Like it's still a dream to go there but. Yeah, yeah. Probably like places like Greece and like Venice and like yeah. all those like little like kind of very secluded nooky places, nooky yeah. places that like you just kind of see all over Instagram really. Yeah. You just want to be that basic. You know. <laughs> like the Maldives or like the Bora Bora or something. <laughs> the little pigs in the ocean. Yeah. That. What car do I drive? What car do you drive Katie? I could tell you I've done 10 hours of my letters. <laughs> Not even 10 hours. I think I've done 8. But in the whole of last year I could have been doing it and I had only done 20 minutes. So I've done that much since the start of this year. So I'm, I'm on a pretty good roll. I'm the same. I could be on my green peas. But anyway, I'm still my learners. Green um, peas? I drive my parents. But oh, um, no. <laughs> what do we both do to keep fit? Oh, mm, well, who wants to start? <laughs> you can start, okay. Well, people, what I do to stay fit is... I do Pilates, I do Zumba, a little bit of boxing, um, I just kind of do home workouts. Mine's like seasonal, so I do swimming in the summer, so that's every day. I just do it for fitness, not competitive. Occasionally I'll go to the gym a couple of times a week, not every day. I've just started my AFL training for morning side. Um, Show them your finger. Oh. <laughs> Now, <laughs> just play it. If you don't want to I, see something, if you don't want to see, skip. I was a little bit freaked out. We're gonna zoom in on this one, but here we go. <laughs> That's so the normal pinky. We've got the normal pinky, and we've got the buggered up football pinky. What made me want to start? What made me want to start what? YouTube. Oh, well, it was kind of you. Well, no. You or it, she already well, had I, the desire to do it, but, but like me, she the was very procrastinating. Yeah. Well, I just. Yeah. No, it's a confidence thing. And it's That's literally everybody. Yeah. I have a question for both of us. What are our channels going to focus on? Ooh. I think one's going to be fitness related, vloggy sort of a thing. Can't relate. I was thinking of doing like little workouts. Yeah, you can cool. write in the comments below about both of our ideas. Yeah. What you'd like to see. Yeah, what you'd like to see. I'm really keen to like go somewhere overseas, like really, really cool. Vlog the whole experience. That would be really cool to just travel everywhere. Yeah. Be like sponsored to travel. How cool would that oh be? Oh my gosh. <laughs> One day. We're, we're talking to our future selves We right are. Now. We it's are. It's gonna happen. I started in November of 2017. I've kind of been doing it for a bit over a year. I've mainly been doing vlogs. I think it's just a confidence thing with actually like sitting down and talking to a camera. It's a lot more like confrontational. So I'm trying to kind of put myself out there more. 
out of my comfort zone and do more sit down videos, more collabs with people. So that's kind of what I want to do. Someone said, what do I eat? Like, what's my diet? So every morning I have to have fruit or... I'm <laughs> joking. Either fruit or kale. <laughs> fruit or kale. For lunch it's kale. No way. I can't out train a bad diet. I feel like you don't enjoy eating if you don't have those things. I just try and cut out all sugar. Apart from like natural sugars, so like fruits and kind of sugars that are inevitable to be in everything. It's more like donuts and lollies and chocolate and all that stuff. And then I just try and not eat bread. I eat like some so other carbs, but like yeah. try and do less of it. So yeah. I'll, like, I'll eat like pasta. Or potatoes or something. Oh, potatoes. <laughs> Love potatoes. Roast potatoes. Oh, well. I can eat about nine of them. Hmm. If you could move anywhere in the world, where would you go? This is to live, not yeah, a little true. vacation yeah, like yeah, I questioned yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. This is to live. I reckon like England would be fun. But then like, I don't know, because it like rains all the time and stuff. I'm living in Australia, like you get really oh, used to like yeah, sunshine. The... And... Are you named after anyone? You've got to tell them about the little name. Right, okay. Um, my middle name. Have you... Um, are you nervous of telling people your middle yeah, name? No one actually really knows my middle name. Um, it's Jatice. Um, it's a bit of a tongue twister, I think. It was made up. I'm fairly sure it was made up. Or like they just mushed they, some names. Yeah, they together. mushed some names together. So they decided let's let's go with this. I never say my middle name to anyone. Everyone always asks me, and I just <laughs> except go, um, for now because all of YouTube knows. Ev everyone knows. Everyone knows now. I don't really care. Yeah. She I just have oh, she's going the full way. Full just... Oh no, she can't. And she's back. And I'm back. When I was born, my mum really wanted to call me Victoria, like really badly. And my dad and my siblings were like, if you call her Victoria, we're just going to call her Katie for the rest of her life because we just don't like Victoria. I can't see for her. Victoria. This is an interesting one. What is the first thing you notice about people? Most of the time, it's like, if it's physical features, I like go mouth and then your eyes. But if it's like personality, I just kind of see if they're like genuine. I feel like when I first see someone, it depends. Like if they're right up in my face, I'll look at the you know, features, eyes, mouth. Is that from a distance? Kind of look at what they're wearing and think in my head, what's this person going to be like? Would you prefer to be hurt by someone you love or someone you trust most? With this answer, I was saying to Jasmine that I would prefer to be hurt by someone I love than someone I trust because trust is very hard to build with someone. Um, and I think with your family and your friends and stuff because there's that like deep underlying love for them even when they hurt you you know you still yeah you, you still get over it quicker I mean it's still hard but with trust it's very much for me I easily give my trust to someone but as soon as they break it it takes a very long time yeah and it just you just feel hurt by to it to get back yeah if you think that you're my friend you can't support me and then you go and do something once you do something once you do it again it's almost Inevitable. Thing, yeah. Would you rather have a British or American accent? British. British. How do you even do a British accent? Hey guys, let's go and have some. Oh, that's right. I think I prefer British personally. Yeah, what's American like? Oh um, my gosh, guys, you've got to be kidding me. Look at you with your little book. You look so organized. <laughs> Weirdest tradition your family has? I don't know if it's weird, but every single time we go to a special event, a family gathering, anything, I'm pretty sure like meetings with schools, anything like that, we're late. If you know us and you want us to come to something, you've got to tell us half an hour earlier because we're guaranteed 40 minutes late almost every time. Ever since I lived in New Zealand after Sunday church, we would go home and have a Jefferson family lunch. So we call it the Jefferson oh, cool. lunch. We would have like fresh buns and ham and cheese and tomato and just like kind of a nice spread of food. What's the biggest lesson life has taught you? I'm Christian. For me, it's always trusting that God will provide. I think sometimes we can question his motives in a way and whether what he does for us is good. So for me, it's just been lately really trusting in him that he will do what is planned for your life just to like really cherish like your loved ones yeah because like you don't know like when their last day is yeah just to be nicer to everyone because like you don't know what your last words might be to them when you last yeah. see them like sure. whether it be you know them going overseas them going on a holiday i just i guess i'm trying to be a really positive and just cherish like the people that you really care yeah. about well i guess that's the end that 
is the end of the video. Let us know what you think, cause yeah. it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun, fresh. It was. It was actually. It was a lot of fun. Let us know if you enjoyed it, and also again, what other videos you'd like to see us do. And like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. You don't have a choice. Just, no. Just, you just do it. Gotta do you need it. to support us. We just want to give it a go. So and just, we just want to smash it. Know that we tried. Yeah. So that is the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Okay. Should we? Should we do that thing? We like. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We will see you in our next videos. Make sure to go to our channels and subscribe to both of them. And so, check out our socials. Yeah, our social media at Katie D Jefferson and at Jasmine Rollison. So that's the end of today's video. Bye. Bye.